I want to be honest with my experience. I don't want to just be like, oh my gosh, my body's like the best school ever. Like, it is in a lot of ways, but I don't know. Hey guys, so we are here at the Cannon Center at BYU and we are here to do a mukbang today and just talk a little bit about our experience going here. We thought it'd be fun because I know freshmen are always worried about the food, um, where they're going to be living, if they're living on campus. So we wanted to show you some of the food, how it tasted. I haven't been here since I went to EFY like so long, like years and years ago and Eric hasn't been here since like his freshman year, right? Uh, I came back once, like a year or two ago. Okay. So we're here to try out the food, see if it's any good, and we will just take you guys along with us. <laughs> Eric is so embarrassed of me. <laughs> okay, this is probably the best thing I've ever seen. They have, these are smoothies and ices. They're all smoothies. Yes, I freaking love chicken and waffles. So we try to get one of everything, including drinks that are iconic and you have to get. We're making a waffle right now and then we still have dessert after this, so let's go. Okay, so we just got all of our food like we just showed you. We literally tried to get one of everything, so we can just try it all out. And we're starving because we just came from playing racquetball. So that's why we're in our like not cute outfits. So we're just ready to start though. <laughs> She straight up charred that thing. We forgot about our waffle, so we made a really big mess. I mean, there was no plate, so I literally had to get this from the soft serve station. I'm so sad. Can we make another one? Dang it. How you? You. I don't even know why you put that. It's a burnt waffle. Why are you eating it? I don't know, it wasn't that brown. Okay, so let's start with the pizza. pizza. I'm sorry, I think this does not look good. Pita bread with the chipotle mayo mm -hmm. and uh, corn. It's good. Not to bad. me, it just tastes like they're trying too hard. Like, I'd rather get some pepperoni. You know what I mean? This is the vegetable with, oh my gosh, I did that and it almost just fell. This is the vegetable with lentils and it's spicy. This is a vegetarian option. I got the corn chowder, but I put bacon and cheese in it. It's not vegetarian anymore. Mm. This is super good. Finish our soup, so moving on. Um, we have our, Eric already started the chicken and waffles, and then there's spaghetti, breadstick, not that impressed. We wanted to, in this mukbang, like actually not just show everything that they had here today, but like actually talk about our experience going to BYU, how it's been, um, and also there's this really funny Twitter account, it's called Heard at BYU. And so basically it literally is like just composed of tweets, of retweets of people like quoting things they heard on campus, which is like hilarious. Um, so anyway, I kind of already said this, but I was a transfer student. Yeah, well, I'm gonna grade on there, huh? Mm -hmm. Is it good? If you want to I'm gonna grade, it might be. I don't, I didn't know, it sounded interesting, so I just, got it but anyway i was a transfer student i transferred to byu after like my second year of college i'm in the communications major and now we're seniors this year which is so crazy like literally being here with all the freshmen i'm like they probably think that we're someone's parents we i mean look old. it is funny though being here with a beard since you're not allowed to have a beard while you're at byu mm -hmm. i was a little worried that the people that probably trying to ask me about it when the semester hasn't started yet so i think we're well, let's talk about why it is that you can't have a beer because I think it's ridiculous. Just part of the honor code, that's, that's all it is. I hate it because I think Eric looks so good with like a little scruff. Like, you guys probably have never seen his beard before, but 
It's funny because some people say it was like in the 60s, I guess, that it was like an anti hippie movement. They made a rule you couldn't have a beard because hippies had beards. And so then, uh, it's just stuck since then. I don't know. And isn't there something about maintenance that like mustaches? Because you love to have a mustache. Yeah, but it can't go past the corners of your mouth. So you have a, a triggered mustache. Which encourages some very poor decisions by some freshmen. And they're like, I'm gonna grow a mustache. Please don't grow just a mustache. It looks so bad. Uh, it takes a very rare person to pull off just a mustache. Some people can do it very well, but most freshman guys, not them. It used to be freshmen in college were just, you know, 18 year olds. But now that guys, some guys are going on their mission right after high school, there's freshmen in college who are like 20 or 21, which I think is so funny. We have a bunch of different kinds of brownies. Well, we have, this is like the classic mint brownie that BYU makes so good. This is a different kind of brownie. There's donuts. What is this? Uh, peanut butter cheesecake. Oh my god. Reese's cheesecake. What's this? It's a cup of dirt. It's like pudding and Oreos. I love it. And this one's like a classic BYU. It's called a score cake. A lot of people call it better than sex cake, but they can't call it that here. Love it. A couple of cookies, a coconut macaroon, chocolate chip cookie. And Meaning donuts. you wanted to get one of every dessert, but that was not realistic. So we just bought so many desserts. There are so many desserts here. Like, so many different options. I'm making myself finish some actual food first before I start dessert so I don't get sick. But I mean, chicken and waffles is kind of dessert anyway. Like, who am I kidding? Anyway, now we're just going to read through some of the Herd at BYU tweets and kind of just talk more about our experience. But one thing though, um, I obviously didn't come here like my freshman year because a big part of it is I was worried that I wouldn't fit in here. Like, I just didn't know if I would like the people at BYU. I just heard weird things like stereotypes that like, they're all too like strict or like they, they don't have fun because you know what I mean like I just didn't have a good impression but coming here I think some of it was true I want to be honest with my experience I don't want to just be like oh my gosh everybody is like the best school ever like it is in a lot of ways but I don't know I just think it's funny okay here's what I'm trying to say at the U, when I was living in Salt Lake City, it's it's still in Utah, so there's still a lot of people who are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But it's so funny because like on the weekends we would like all go to like parties and like dances, and there were like frats and sororities and like Greek life and all of that. And now I come down to BYU, and it was Friday night. Oh my gosh! Okay, let's go to the Divine Comedy Plain Comedy Show, and it's like that's still really fun. It's just really different. Like BYU, there's still football games, there's still on-campus housing, but it's not your typical college experience. So, which if you're a member of the church, like that's not a bad thing. Like that means that there's less peer pressure and stuff like that. But it is a very different experience. And like for me, I went to a different school and then I came here. So. I mean, it kind of depends. Like still kind of like every kind of people. Yeah, here. there's still and don't get me wrong. Yeah, there's still bad stuff that could go down. There's still drugs, like a lot. There's still parties down here too. I don't know. I just it's just really different. It's like Provo is like in its own little bubble, you know. <laughs> So these are just like things people overhear at BYU and then they tweet them in. Someone just said, what the hecking heck? What the hecking hecking heck? Well, it just says now like who to follow this morning. Just let me scroll past Sorry, I thought it like was new categories. So. Alright, this guy was giving a talk. He said, I was just in Provo for the summer for a fellowship and I'll go back to Boston tomorrow. I've really enjoyed it here and even learned what a nickname is. Nickmo is non hangout. It's pretty much like hooking up or like a one night stand, but if you're a ladder to see. Don't do it, kids. No, Be a good little freshman. Elder Rudorf is handsome, but I wouldn't call him hot or cute. <laughs> I'm not rich, but my parents are. <laughs> Who said that? <gasps> it literally doesn't matter. It might have mattered in high school, but in college, it doesn't matter at all. This <laughs> one says, People in Provo, Utah be like, 100 days until I say I do. I'm not engaged or even dating anyone, but I've decided I'll be getting married in 100 days. I have butterflies. If you've heard that, oh my gosh, at BYU, people get engaged 
after like three months of dating. That's true. That's not a rumor. That is like literally actually what happens here. Here's how it usually goes. Freshmen don't usually get married in their freshman year. If they do, it's like at the very end, they'll get married the summer after their freshman year. And then once you're a sophomore, that's where people legit start like getting married. Like they'll usually start school, start dating someone within the first couple months, and then you get engaged by winter semester, like around Christmas time. And then they get married the following semester. Like, it is that. For a lot of people. For a lot of people. Not for everybody. It's not, it's so it's not my priesthood duty to bring the bread. I bring the tea. <laughs> this one says, if I didn't go to the Lord's University, I would cheat on so many tests. <laughs> BYU has like an honor code where you like you promise not to cheat on anything. So yeah, yeah. but also, you should honestly do that like no matter where you are. As a human being. Man. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Be honest and good. This one I cracked up. Only in Provo do you hear a group of grown adults singing girls' camp songs around a fire pit. Or Disney. <laughs> or Disney. You like literally everybody is obsessed with Disney here. Like it's just a thing. This one says. Just don't give me the Provo All-Star haircut. That's all I really care about. <laughs> so basically, Provo All-Stars, basically they're just guys who are like older, they're like return missionaries, and they're just like, they live in this single bachelor life. They usually do summer sales, they go to Vasa, they drink protein powder, and they're with protein powder. They all have the same haircut, they stand out in a crowd, just Look at the village. you can probably find them lurking around so delicious, and they'll usually text you only past 9pm, so just, this is your warning, beware. Are they on Tinder? Late yeah, or mutual. Oh my gosh, I feel like we need to do a video on mutual because it's such a huge thing down here. Like dating culture, you guys, is crazy. We have a couple dating videos that we'll have linked below here. Thank you so much for having lunch with us here at the Cannon Center. Hope you enjoyed. Food, super good. Um, hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about what it's really like going to BYU. And if you have any other questions, just let us know. We will do our best to get back to those. And before we go, I just want to give a quick shout out to our Sunflower Squad member of the week. This week's shout out is going to Luann McNally. Thank you so much for your support and watching my videos and supporting me on Instagram. I seriously appreciate you so, so much. And if you're interested in being the next Sunflower Squad member of the week, all you have to do is three things. First, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Second, hit the notification bell. And third, comment below with your Instagram username and a sunflower emoji, or just letting me know that you are a part of the sunflower squad. I love giving back to you guys because I seriously so appreciate all the support you give to me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any other video requests for us. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.